please under, can you please explain easily an example of a use case of BTP as opposed to traditional development? So a use case is going to be, let's see, um, traditional development versus a using BTP for your development. So I guess okay. let's make a use case of we want to. I okay, let's uh, let's make a use case from right here. So let's okay. say we are doing this chat, right? Now let's say uh, you would like to analyze this video uh, or audio rather, and uh, point point out like uh, what are the main topics that we discussed and what are the hot topics, and based on that you would plan the next uh, SAP press book con uh, conference. Okay. Okay. Um, how do you do that? So, because it's going to be can, based on verbal, right? I, I, I can I can almost build out the similar app uh, in BTP, almost uh, minimal coding, I would say, at this moment. Uh, the, the offering are like that. Uh, it's a it's a very interesting topic. Like, uh, we we can build out a uh, uh, app easily. We can record this. Um, you are already recording it, right? So we 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 have this audio. We can just uh, put out uh, in a uh, uh, audio to uh, text uh, converter. We get the text, and then uh, we have to run through some machine learning algorithm, which are again some of them are pre-built. We can just train it, and we can get it, tokenize it, and get the gist of it, and give you a report. Um, building uh, even even suppose, suppose you have some rules, like like for example. Um, are we talking about this, about that, and what are the times that, how many times you, we, we um, explain that particular word. tokenize yeah. that? Yeah. So uh, we can put out some rules. These rules can be built with no code. There's a, uh, in, in uh, SAP process automation, there's a build out um, uh, uh, configuration where you can build out uh, uh, business rules. And based on that, maybe you, you have to approve that a next conference from your manager to arrange that. You can actually arrange a approval notification to that. And mm -hmm. you can set out a conference link directly uh, through a Zoom uh, uh, API. Gracious. Okay. Everything so, you, can, you can build in BTP. <laughs> I like that. I'll have you do that tomorrow. So what about, how would you do that without tradition, with traditional development? Well, how would you do that? Probably take a lot longer. In, I mean, the first question would be by tradition means like how far you have gone. Like uh, I have seen, the, I mean, we all have seen like Java. Uh, this, uh, okay, traditional Java, uh, maybe. Uh, first, uh, this, I, I'd say the first powerful thing on BTP is pre built contents. Like there are a lot of algorithms that are pre built which you can utilize to make it faster. Uh, text to speech, uh, sorry, speech to text is, is an API call, okay? Then um, open once source. you are, <laughs> it's open source. So unless you have BTP in the traditional one, you have to build that thing. So that's a huge thing, number one. Number two, the entire business framework logic uh, to business put the business rules and the workflow for, for that. Yeah. Uh, you can even. I mean, <laughs> so we're talking like uh, something that would take like maybe a month compared to few, something few that months, takes like few a few months year. for sure. Yeah. yeah, that's huge. And to 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 give a very simple example for a common UI fi development, right? Pro, pro, like a few years back, we might take months to build an, a Fiori UI application. But compared to now today, with a Fury element template or some UI annotation base, your UI application can be built within a day or a day or two, and yeah. with, without much user interface coding. Right. So that that is the powerful of the programming model that are uh, uh, provided by SAP, whether yeah. in in Cloud Foundry or in in other environments. So yeah. Yeah. See, that's great because managers change their minds all the time. <laughs> and, you know, you might not come up with the, uh, what I wanted to see. It might be something yeah. totally, I'll be like, it's not what I wanted. 
Yeah, okay. I said it's not it's not managers so much, it's actually users. Oh, right? Oh, that's true. Right. So today, today, like in the past 20 years ago, I used a desktop or browser and then mobile phones came, right? So that was a shift in technology, shift in usage. For the longest time, end users didn't like they use the mobile phones for personal use, mm -hmm. for recreation, right? But but business work was done on laptop but now they want business work also be to be done on a mobile phone that's a shift yes. yeah. right so it's more to address the business needs um mm. more than the managers not wanting it sorry but you know it's it's a business need it's the users yeah. of the application wanting that change wanting to improve um, that's because yeah. no one wanted a blackberry <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, I want and, my and, iPhone. I'm not going to do a BlackBerry. Yeah. And and just to give you another example on um, the development time or time time to value thing, right? Yeah. So um, I can recall like um, 10, 12 years back when we used to uh, develop one of the first UI5 extension. Uh, it took me months to develop a UI5 application. Um, we had to literally build the controls and everything from scratch. And he's then, smart too, so he's super most. So don't think yeah. it, it it is a daunting task. That <laughs> and 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 now Chunan was saying like annotation based UI, where you don't have to code anything. Like you, you just do annotation and you know, the all the um, UI rendering is done automatically. And the next gen is uh, the on complete no code, which is uh, AppGyver, where uh, you don't even have to do that code also like so how much ABAP knowledge do you have to know to learn btp it, uh, it's, it's, ABAP yeah knowledge it's optional BTP. yeah it's optional. It's purely purely optional uh because um in in our book also we, we have wrote, written like there are different uh, runtime engines which is available in the uh, btp platform if you choose to use the ABAP platform or, or, or rather ABAP runtime, then you have to obviously code in ABAP. Mm -hmm. uh, then also like uh, you don't uh, think of the traditional ABAP itself, like um, thousands lines of code, I mean, size of our C equals to zero, <laughs> a lot of old codes like that, right? I mean, uh, you would uh, adopt the uh, more object oriented and wrap programming which is uh, RESTful ABAP programming, uh, where it, ABAP has modernized itself uh, hugely. So 